All right, a little different setting than uh, any video I've done. I am in my office because I'm starting a project here around the house, and uh, it's not one that I've seen anyone really do on YouTube. Um, we're taking a little different approach to things, so let's walk through what we're doing on the design phase, and then we'll go outside and start looking at the space. So I expect this to be a new series of videos for people that are interested, maybe not of the truck type, but maybe some other ones. Okay, so let's walk through the design here a little bit, and this will all make sense once I walk through the the space anyway, but what we've got, this is part of my backyard, so this here, this square is the garage, and I've got a door going into the garage, we've got a fenced area back here, and this area down here and along here is all patio that I built a number of years ago. This is the deck coming into the house. This is a retaining wall that kind of swoops up here and dies off as this ramp walks up to the, the top circular patio. And down here I've got a pavilion that is covers this rectangular space that I built two years ago as well. So what we've got in here is this space between the garage and this retaining wall. This is the project area that we're talking about. And so what I've what we've had in the past is this part of it over here was a little vegetable garden because it got good sun and it works there. Um, but what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to pour in, uh, I need to finish a retaining wall over here, and I'm going to pour in a U-shaped area here for an outdoor kitchen. It'll have a walkway through here at least 40 inches, so this isn't exactly to scale. Um, and then I'm planning to have my big green egg and probably get a gas grill here. There'll be the cooking areas right there. And so these will be um, outdoor cabinets up here. And then these pads, rather than be kind of stone pavers, they're going to be individually formed and poured cement faux stone stamped pavers. Because that's about the size that I think with a with a home um, with a home uh, cement mixer I could mix and pour in a setting and form fairly easily and I could do a couple of these by myself as I go so these are fairly organic is how they're gonna lay this isn't of course an exact plan we're gonna have to lay it all out but this is just giving us an idea I'm trying to figure out if this belly here that we have in the retaining wall if we're gonna do a little flower bed here or if we're gonna continue the stones and end up with them all the way here and then if we want flowers here go with some containers that's kind of the direction that I'm leaning so let's take a look at this and then walk out in the space and we'll talk about it and talk about what the next steps are alright so here's where we're working with you can tell this is real life because we have an array of nerf guns around here that would uh, that would make the army blush alright so you can see that I've already started sort, st sort of started work this was the vegetable garden here with the straw on it, so that's all gotta that's all gotta come out. Um, but you can see the retaining wall here. We've moved my vegetable garden to be a little corner over here in this knockout. Um, but uh, got a couple things coming against us, so I'm gonna have to pull all this mulch out in the weed block that we put down. This um, river stone was stuff that mul people uh, previous owners put down as mulch probably back in the 50s when they had a pool here. You can see this is a remnant of the pool drain system. It was galvanized plumbing and all the electrical. That's all got to come out. What I have already done is I have dug out a uh, burning bush here and a bird of paradise tree that was um, surprisingly big. So I've got to rip out the rest of these roots. They should come fairly easily. That root may be from a mulberry tree that was on the other side of this fence that we, between that and the retaining wall on the outside that we cut down. So you see I've got two stones in there. They're not very level. I got to fix those. Um, but we're going to end up, I've got to do a retaining wall here underneath the fence and build that up to, to the right height. And then here we'll have cabinets coming through here. Um, and around the corner and then back over here with the opening but into the kitchen where I'm standing now relative to this door which needs replaced. Um, this is an old, I think this may even be an old interior door that somebody brought out of this 80 year old house and set out here to rot and die whenever they wanted to cut in a, a back door um, because this matches another door that we have going out to the sunroom in our in our home so um, we'll have power that'll stub out through the cabinets from inside of there that'll run inside of these pieces 
And so having kind of a, we'll have a countertop height bar here that people can sit kind of from below and sit up at, um, turn the corner here with it and have, you know, some seating at a bar here. And then this will all be those little pavers and we're thinking big, long picnic table, um, bench seating area, just comfortable, easy to live in. Um, yeah, you can see that's the size of the stump from the, that the burning bush was at. It was seven feet tall. There's the branches from it over there that got to get hauled to the dump. So this is what we're working with and what we're dealing with. Again, we're trying to have nice dining seating area. This is going to become kind of a fire pit area. In the past, we had that table and chairs sitting over here. Um, they need to go. They're just not working out for us for what we're looking for. And that's my big green egg that'll get set into a countertop space over there instead of in a rolling cart. So we're <sighs> looking at this again, you know, have a nice little fire pit and we're thinking low seating chairs here and there. This flower bed here will probably stay. So we'll, we'll come across here. My wife loves to plant uh, sweet potato vine here in the summertime. The, the phlox that's here grows in flowers and then the sweet potato vine just kind of swallows this whole area. You can see in my shadow there how big it gets, but it'll reach clear across that and up around down over here and, and just it looks like it covers about 15 you know feet diameter. So this is what we're working with and where I'm starting. Um, first step is to get the retaining wall built in level underneath the fence over there to hold things back, um, get that dug in, built in, and then start removing dirt and getting it out of the way and getting this all down level so that I can draw a line across it and uh, start forming up my pour. I'm going to do my U-shaped cabinet pour underneath there first so that will get framed in uh, or squared in and ready to build first. So that will be the first pour that we do. Um, but we're probably a week and a half or two weeks of work away from that depending upon the weather so wish me luck hopefully it'll be an interesting video when uh, when it all gets done uh, more importantly i also hope it works so